my name is Bryony. If you are new, please consider hitting that subscribe button before you leave. Leave me a comment down below letting me know what your thoughts and feelings are on the products that I'm going to show you today. But yeah, let's just dive right in. So we have two products from the same collection. So we have the Re Revolution Forever Dynamic Allure Palette. So this is the mini version of the Allure Palette. They also do two other sizes. We're also going to be looking at the Allure Lip Set, which comes with two glosses and a um, lip liner. So I'm going to start off with the palette. We're going to swatch it now. And then once I've shown you the swatches, I'm going to insert the clip of me creating this look because I am using both the lip kit here and the eyeshadow palette. So the first one is what I would term a blending out shade anyway. So it doesn't really show up on my skin tone. We then have this mauvey purple, which on swatch isn't looking that great if I'm honest but that is the dark shade I've used on my eyes and I do find that it blended well it was fairly pigmented so yeah I've got nothing bad to say about that shade this is the next one one of the two um sort of multi chromes I don't know what you call them I'll read it on the box in a sec this is another matte what do they say they are it doesn't say I have a feeling they are called metallics probably. They are kind of like a bit more metallic -y than they are a shimmer, if that makes sense. They're probably termed as metallics. So that's the one I've got on my lid today. We've got that one. Then the only sort of true shimmer in the palette is this one here, which again is beautiful. And then another matte. So those are all your colours. The only one that's not showing up is that one, but I would use that as a blending out shade anyway, so I wouldn't really want it to show up if that makes sense on my skin tone. And as you can see, they are fairly pigmented. I do like this look that I've created today. I do think that the palette was easy to work with and I would recommend it. Um, whether or not I'd recommend it if you've already got the larger one or the even bigger one. I've got two somewhere. We're going to be doing a series. So I've got the regular one, which was the first one they released. Then recently they released this one. Do look at the size difference. And then we've got the one that we're looking at today, which is this one. So I'm going to do individual um, testings of all these palettes. So today, obviously, it's the mini one with the lip kit. We'll do the bigger one and then we'll do the big, big one. But I'm also going to do sort of a review at some point as well, where I'm sort of looking at if you've got this one, for example. Do you need this one as well? And... Um, if you've got the big one, do you need these two? You know, that sort of thing. So those videos are going to be coming. Um, obviously, I can only do one video at once. So we are just testing out the palettes today. But yeah, the next clip you're going to see is me creating this look. And I hope you enjoy. So we're going to keep this quite basic because at the end of the day, there's eight shades. We can't really go too complex with it. Um, so these are the shades. And I'm just going to start off with this one here. Um, I just need to get the piece of film to see what that one's called I hate that I really want them to print the names on them this is like the small version and they do two other versions and the two other versions are like a bigger one and like a XL one type job they all have them printed on it's the same style packaging why can't you just print them on um, I need to line it up and see it's called love so that's the shade we're going in with, which is this one down here, Love. And I'm just going to pop this shade all over my lid. I'm trying to keep quite a rounded shape. For no other reason than that's what I'm into at the minute. I'm loving a rounded eye look at the moment. I'm happy with the placement of that first colour. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take this pale shade here on my brush and I'm just going to use that to help me blend out the edge. 
I just want to soften the outer edge of this colour. Yeah, so I'm fairly happy with that. I'm now going to go in with this dark, I want to say maroon, or it might be purple on camera. It's looking very brown actually, but it's very like mauve, like a dark mauve. And I'm just going to pop that in the outer corner. So I'm basically drawing around my eyelid. So I'm drawing a sort of, I want to say semicircle, but it's not quite a semicircle, is it? A horseshoe. Very similar to the look I did the other day, if you saw it, the blue um, eyeshadow look I did. If you haven't seen that and you want to check it out, I'll leave it linked in the description because it's a very easy look to do, but it does look like you've got some skills and I really haven't. <laughs> As long as you can blend, which I can. Well, I say I can. It depends. I'm not always the best at it. Um, so yeah, can you see I've just drawn a line around and do the same on the other eye. So far, I'm happy with the placement. I'm just going to go around the edges of the outer edges of this colour with a clean, fluffy brush. And I'm just literally trying to blend that edge what I don't want to do is spread that color any further so I am blending within the color if that makes sense so I'm not like going past it and then blending around I'm literally blending just in that color so I'm happy with that so far what I'm going to do now is just pop some revolution cut crease canvas on the center of my lid the bit that's not got the darker shadow on And I've almost just drawn a mini version of the outer shape, if that makes sense. Then I'm going to get a flat brush. Just sprayed it with some setting spray. And I think we're going to take this shade here. Which I would have told you the shade name, only I've lost that piece of paper now. Revolution, if you're watching, which I very much doubt... Please print your shade names on the palettes because it makes life a lot easier. This is a stunning duochrome shade. Really pretty. And there we have it. That's what we're looking at so far. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pop off camera, finish my face off, come back with lashes on, etc. And then we'll do my under eye. We'll try the lip kit because we've got the Allure lip kit as well so we'll try that swatch that as well and then I'll give you my overall thoughts on these two products right so it's time for my under eyes what I'm going to do is just with a fluffy um, flat brush I'm just going to use the um, dark sort of mauve colour in the outer corner of both eyes just very sort of roughly blended and you know, nothing too sort of harsh. And then in my... I've probably done that about halfway along. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that shimmer shade that we used above the eye for the rest, for, for the inner corner and the rest of the under eye. So now it's time to move on to lips. So we're going to look at the lip kit. Which, again, it's all from the same range. So this is just called the Allure Lip Set. And I like that it's not got plastic inside. It's got protective paper that can be recycled. And in, in here you get three products. You get... Try to see if there's shade names on this. You get a Sheer Brilliant in Glorified. You get... A sheer in piece of cake, sheer brilliant in piece of cake, and then you get a Renaissance lip liner in prime. So we're gonna try all these out. I'll do swatches first of all, and then we'll try them out for you. So these are the lip shades. So we've got these two are very sheer, so they're more like um lip um lip glosses, but you know, a bit a bit less 
a bit more pigmented, sort of a, a pigmented lip gloss. And then this is the liner. To be fair, to be honest, it's not really my style to wear a dark liner with lighter lipsticks, but the, in the interest of trying, uh, you know, testing this out, I'm going to do it for today. So we'll see how this goes, but I'm not overly keen. I don't mind it slightly darker, but that is so much darker than the others. Because I'm not a massive fan, I've just blended it out slightly. I've got already, um, I already had lip balm on, so that has helped a bit, because that has helped blend it. That lipstick does not go with that liner. It's not even the same tone, so it's like... A pink tone with a brown tone again I'm gonna pat it and try and make it work I'll try some of this other lip gloss over the middle part and see if that helps any yeah again this doesn't really go with the rest of the lip look Maybe that doesn't look too bad on camera, but to me, I feel like I've got baked beans around the outside of my lips. And now, I normally love Revolution products. It's been a while since I've had one that I don't like. It's probably personal preference because it's not that the products are bad products, it's the colours that I'm not keen on. So it probably is personal preference. But I'm loving the eyeshadow palette and I think because it's only small, it's ideal for, you know, if you want to top up throughout the day, popping it in your bag. If the world returns to normal and we can go on holiday again, it'd be great for a weekend away or even a week. It's There's enough colours in here to do more toned down or more um, sort of night outy looks. So, yeah, I definitely think that this is a great palette to buy. The lip kit I'm not sold on, but that is personal preference and it's down to shades. I do like the formula of the um, lip glosses. They feel nice and hydrating. I do like, in general, I do like Revolution lip liners. I just don't really like the shade of this one mixed with those or just the shade of this one in general is not my cup of tea. I'm a very pale nude kind of gal and that is a very dark brown. It's not my cup of tea at all. Um, but yeah, I hope you did enjoy this video overall. As I say, I would highly, highly recommend this palette. It blended beautifully. I really enjoyed using it and I would buy this again. This, I think it comes down to personal taste. The products are good products. I like the formulas. I just don't like the colours mixed together. I do like the two glosses and I will use the glosses in future, but I won't use them in conjunction with that liner and I probably won't use them in conjunction with each other. I am quite a sort of basic girl. I like to go liner, stick lipstick and then a bit of gloss over the top. So I probably would use them as my gloss over the top of a normal lipstick. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. It really does help my channel out and I'd love to see you in a video again soon. Bye! Bye.